Okay, what's up, everybody? Let me get this thing set up. This fucking holder is just a pain in the balls. All right, so we're gonna cook fried chicken today. Hope you guys like it. If not, oh well, feel free to, as my name says, fuck off. Yeah, let's have some fun. Get this set up here. Turn down the flame already over there. Using my favorite skillet pan as usual. I love my fucking huge ass skillet. The thing really kicks ass. Really like it. And I didn't go out and spend, you know, a bunch of money on it. Found it at Goodwill. Picked it up. I was like, yep, I'll take that. Teflon was still good on it. It was actually like it was brand new, so I really, uh, really like when I find stuff like that. Hard spot. Remember what I said, guys. Always get that fucking cartilage out of there. Trim down the fat as much as you can to the point where there's no visible white on it. I'll be making some larger chunks. Not cutting them down as small because I like larger chunks. You can make them small and make popcorn chicken. Uh, what I usually find when you're making popcorn chicken is that uh, most of the time, unless you're really, really good at it, and you could gauge the heat very accurately, they tend to turn out pretty tough. So, not the biggest fan of popcorn chicken. I like chunks. Big old fucking chunks. Alright. As soon as I got my hands free, I'll check through the chat and see who's all up in here. Looks like we got only four people, but that's okay. Even if there was one, I'd still be here with you guys. And I, uh, I don't ever stream because uh, they ask you the question, you know, is this made for kids? I swear a lot, and uh, I don't make my streams for kids. I make them for adults. So, I always put the age restriction on, which probably limits my viewing, but whatever. That's okay. Kids should learn from their parents how to cook. If you ain't got parents, well, I don't know. Figure it out. See, who did I all learn how to cook from? Like my mom, my mom taught me originally how to cook, I think it was French toast was the first thing I learned how to cook as a child. It was the first reason why I was able to use the stove. And once I could prove to both of them that I could cook it without a problem, you know, did it like four or five times in front of them, I could uh, cook when they weren't there. Which was, you know, not exactly the most often, but it did happen. Because back when I was growing up, there wasn't a whole lot of bullshit about leaving your kids at home. Uh, you know, it's just how it happened. Both parents would work sometimes, and those kids would have to fend for ourselves. Now, I did have older brothers, but usually when parents took off, <laughs> you guessed it, they took off. So, I spent a little bit of time on my own. And uh, through the years, learned how to cook independently. I read a lot of cooking books. Uh, we didn't have YouTube when I was a kid, so everything was kind of trial and error. And plus, you know, through the years I'd watch my mom cook. There was always an interest of mine watching, watching my mom cook and stuff. So that was how I got introduced to it was through my family. Uh, my dad cooks pretty good. He, uh, 
he enjoys food a lot and he enjoys cooking at the house so he taught me quite a bit of stuff too This meal that we're eating now is actually a meal that my dad taught me how to cook very early in life. I was probably around, I don't know, seven or eight. So, I always liked fried chicken, I always liked fried food. So this was one of the first things he taught me how to cook. So there you have it. Put this back on there, bust down these eggs. So on this video, I will not be showing any of the uh, spices that I use. That one's definitely not going to go out to anybody. Unless you become part of my actual family, you're kind of struck on that one. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So on this one, I use milk and eggs. I don't measure. I do my own. Always got to eyeball it. Going to turn down this oil over here so it doesn't overheat because I'm kind of taking a little while longer than usual. <clears throat> And just so you know, all the ingredients, like all the uh, all the spices and stuff, it's already preloaded into my bag that I'm going to be using to put the flour on. I do use a bag. Uh, you can do it by hand, but what I found through the years of doing it by hand is you lose a lot of the breading when you're double dipping, and uh, I don't like to lose chunks of breading and have fucked off looking chicken so I use a bag a little bit of it comes off during the transfer but not as much as when I do it by hand so here's a bag full of the shit before I get into that, I'm going to go check and see who's all in the chat. Yeah, that's loud. Alright, so we got Aussie Manda, got Boss Bitch, Sugar Crits, Doofy, what's up Doof? Uh, the usual suspects. Oh, and Dennison, holy shit. Fuck you, Dennison. Shout out to Mike Cerrone, the double dipper. Fucking guy. Hold on. There we go. Put you back where you belong. Shift the angle a little bit. All right. Let us begin. So, like I said, all the seasoning is already in there. I'm not going to show you guys any of that. Like I said, that's my family shit. And, uh, you know, we got some secrets. Hope you guys are doing good tonight. I hope you guys actually use some of this to cook for your family. That would be cool. I would appreciate it. If not, oh well. Y'all don't know what good food is. <laughs> is what it is. And never just scoop and not let, you know, a lot of the excess drain off. That's a horrible way to do things. 
and you'll find out why when you do it because then you'll get the clumpiest fucking chicken you ever had in your life and uh, it's going to take forever to cook you're going to dry out the meat you'll notice that I use milk and not just the egg base I use milk base I find that when you use milk uh, it leaves a little bit of moisture in the breading that way it's not so hard you know it's still crunchy but it's not so hard to the uh, mouth that it cuts your mouth to shit so that's one good thing shake off the excess put it back in put this to the side don't overload it because you want to be able to turn it around and kind of mess with it a bit steps are very important make sure that you follow the directions because if not you're not going to get the same product Now you could leave it like that and do it once, that's fine, but uh, I like mine double dipped, I really do, adds a whole different, you know, deal to it, and uh, try not to press on it too hard, because if you press on it, you're going to have blank spots, and you don't want blank spots, you want a nice uniform piece of chicken and there you go so, go back it back up roll it all on around and just kind of tumble it don't uh, don't squeeze just let the shit do its own thing in there because if you squeeze once again you're gonna have blank spots you don't want blank spots and we're pretty much ready with that so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way Some room to wash my hands. Get that shit off. Get that shit off your hands immediately because when that flour and that egg gets hard, it's a real pain in the balls to try and get it off. Alright. Get the lid off of this, turn it back on the just above medium. I'm going to grab one piece. Actually, I'm going to adjust this first. Grab one piece. Okay. Oil is pretty ready. So, one important thing that you'll have to worry about is not to overload the chicken. You overload it. You won't get a good crisp. You'll get some soggy bullshit. Soggy bottom boys. We don't want none. So I'm not going to add a whole lot in there. Just kind of guess. And you'll get stuff like this right here. Just dip it back in. Get you some loose loose oil, dip it back, throw it in. That's pretty much all. I'll do one more piece. It's a big open spot. So, 
one thing that I do while I'm cooking is I cook and clean as I go. I do not like to get done with the meal and have a bunch of fucking dishes. I don't understand why people do that. They, they can't multitask or whatever. That's their problem. I'm done cleaning these two things. Run through the chat again. Say hello. <laughs> he said Walmart just like our ancestors. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That's how it's fucking getting. My dad, he used to use a big ass black garbage bag. One of them big old fucking like 40 gallon ones. Because when we cook in my house, oh my god, it would be like an all-night thing, dude. We would have like probably 20 pounds of chicken cooked up. We were uh, three very large people, well, four, including my dad, four people living in the house. And then when he got his girlfriend, we had five. She kind of messed things up. We used to cook, you know, like we'd have three starches on a plate. And before she had mentioned this, I never really thought about it, but we would make like three different starches to go with our meal. We'd cook chicken, pasta, throw some biscuits in there, like we'd cook all unhealthy shit. But when this girl came, well, this woman, she came and uh, she started implementing health food. Probably did more for my dad than it did for us, but oh well, she was trying to be healthy. She's actually a really good woman. Alright. Go ahead and throw this on real quick. Go flip through the chat. Second So, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? make me need to smoke. <laughs> Boss bitch, you're hilarious. Dennison, I didn't teach you no empathy. You're still a fucking psychopath. Fuck crazy bastard. Spread by now. Cooking rack to glue up. Yeah, sugar crits. I, I have seen people do that. Um, I don't. I just... You know, just do my own thing pretty much. Dennison, you fucking priceless. You're just going on Mike's own so hard. Jesus. Although he does deserve it. He thinks he's the fucking smartest son of a bitch in the world. Oh no, I'm not cutting up any veggies, Dennison. I'm making simple stuff. You guys can add whatever sides you want. The shit comes out of a fucking uh, can. Or you can get fresh, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really too big on vegetables. <laughs> Doofy. You're fucking priceless. I want my money back. Boss bitch, you don't get no money back. Denison, I'm going to stab you. With love, by the way. Wink, wink, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Like, that shit, I don't clean that every day. I, In fact, I was actually going to leave the rice in there from last time. I actually cleaned it up before I started this. But I knew STL would have some shit to talk, so I just took that away from him. Chicken doesn't still have feathers. Yeah, no. Uh, sugar crits. Five pounds of chicken is usually what I cook. This is three and a quarter. This isn't quite fi five pounds. Oh, 
Oh, now I see what you're saying. Yeah, dude, when we were young, man, me and my two brothers, we would fucking smash food. My dad, you know, he was a bigger guy, too. We could just pack it away, no problem, dude. We could eat fucking 20 pounds all day. That's right, Dennison. That's how I roll. Fucking use bags. Do whatever I want. <laughs> you don't even have a link? You, you know how to find it. Boss bitch, you know how to find my shit. Alright, getting to be about that time. Time to flip it up. So some dumbasses don't uh, let the grease drain, they just let it sit on the bottom with the chicken that's retarded. Don't do that. Don't be mentally retarded. Smoke break. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them, but I should be. Shout out to Newport. The number one brand of cigarette in the hood. All the time. Is like my lighter. Heard a sweet. Eh? Oh, and by the way, when I when I start putting on there like you know this is a five course meal that I'm cooking, I'll start cooking sides, but. When you see, you know, fried chicken, fried boneless chicken, that's exactly what it's going to be. Looking through the chat. It's kind of hard while it's on the holder. But I can kind of see it. Be a man and turn them with your paws? Hell no. Hell no. Uh, gumbo. You know, I'm not really the biggest fan of gumbo. I mean, I guess I could. I gotta let me take this fucker off here for a second. Denison, if you know what you're doing, you can do shit like that. If you don't know what you're doing, don't shake the fucking pan. This is why I told you guys in Boss Bitches chat, don't be stoned while you're cooking. 
you to know what the fuck you're doing. And the reason why you shake it is you don't want anything to stick to the bottom just in case some reason it sticks. Always shake it. Uh, code 187. I could definitely make some fucking chili. I could make some bomb chili. Yeah, Dennis and I agree. Pork and chicken, well done. Do not fucking undercook pork. Do not undercook chicken. Steak is totally fucking different. I tried to tell many people about that. They don't. Uh, they don't tend to listen. They're like, oh, it's too fucking, too hard. Well, it's fucking chicken. That's why I use the milk on the breading so I don't lose a whole lot of moisture, just a little bit. These are looking pretty good. So how's everybody doing? What's everybody doing tonight? Who's all live? Heard Rado was live. Rado's probably in someone's DMs right now. All the time. Alright, this one, this batch is pretty well good. So, kind of a general rule of thumb, if you want to check chicken, grab the biggest piece, cut that bitch in half, and just like that, you can see it's done. you guys like the show and as always like AC says as always like share and subscribe hit the like button like me hate me fuck you either way love ya <laughs> there you go that is the first batch probably gonna have a total of three I'm guessing it's going to be three. Oh, and another thing. So let's say that you kind of run a little low on oil. Gauge that before you put chicken in. Do not add oil after. You will come up with some bogus ass fucking chicken. 
it will not be too good. Um, when you cook chicken like this, you'll get that, you know, that overflow, the bubbles and shit, the loose flour adding up, and it'll keep on coming up. Don't let it overflow. Go at a medium pace and uh, show you a little trick. Just kind of wave it around. Let the bubbles go down. And like I said, don't overload it. That's one, you know, crucial thing. Do not overload it. You will have a fucking horrible problem on your hands. That's going to be about it for that one. Don't let your shit stick to it. Because then you get blank spots, and I don't like blank spots. It's cooking. Check the chat. My phone won't allow me to do that. <laughs> Tennyson, fuck you. Uh, boss bitch, yes, it was on the stove, it is not currently. I moved it to the, uh, fridge. <laughs> yeah, Denison, boil, boil your oil, add water when it's boiling hot. Just kidding, totally being facetious. No, you like, though. Foot docks. Oh yes, and by the way, make sure that you start your morning off the right way. The best part of waking up is fuck off on your cup. They're now available at Tiffany Epiphany's fucking Etsy. Go check them out, get you one. And uh oh, sugar crits. Way ahead of you, bro. <laughs> Way ahead of you, bro. So I do do a batch uh, for me. My boyfriend doesn't really like it. Um, I glaze mine. So, yeah. Uh, boss bitch, I got a hunting knife because, you know, it's always good to have one. Yeah, doofy sweet and spicy is the way to go. I used to like the honey, um, but over time, I, when I found that sweet and spicy, I really took a liking to it, like, really fast. I thoroughly enjoy that better than any of their other ones. One of the other ones that I like just underneath that one is the Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle is really, really good. Uh, sweet Baby Ray's Chipotle. Very, very tasty. And don't worry about the hunting knife, okay? This was bought out of a very good set. It's for uh, field dressing, you know, wild game. It's a very good set. Show you some of the other ones that come in it. It comes with like seven of those standard six inch or four inch ones. And the other one that I keep around is this one. Very, very good set. I don't remember the brand name. 
Again, got it at Goodwill. Came in like a 15 piece set. Half the stuff I kept in the box. Uh, some of the stuff I took out. Some of the stuff was lost over time. STL, I see you join the chat. Welcome. Um, <clears throat> one of the other barbecue sauces that I use is Stubbs. Stubbs is delicious. It's very good. You'll thoroughly enjoy it. But typically I only use Stubbs on, uh, what is it, uh, when, I, when I do ribs, like I'll, I'll use Stubbs. Um, I don't like a thick, thick barbecue sauce, you know, depending on what kind of ribs they are, whether they're uh, baby back or short ribs or rib tips, depends on what they are. Uh, regular ribs, like baby back ribs, I'll use Stubbs or I'll use uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. Another one that I grew up on was uh, Open Pit. Open Pit's pretty good. I like Open Pit. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Damn, Goofy. Going hard on STL. <clears throat> this is my favorite knife in the kitchen. Very handy. Very good steel. This knife here I've had since I was probably, well, not in my possession, but I've had it and cooked with it since I was about probably 13. So this, this blade's probably 20 years old. It's uh, Chicago cutlery. It's good stuff. And then they got this one. This is a Sheffield. Very, very, very fucking sharp. Very good blade. I like it because of the way it looks and the handle. Uh, it's pretty much sealed. Can't get very much into it. Although if I had to pick, I would definitely pick the... Uh, Chicago Cutlery, even though they have wood handles, I like Chicago Cutlery. Um, I do have a professional grade set of Cutco. Cost me quite a bit of money, so I do not use it in the kitchen unless I'm being paid to cook. Uh, that stuff, you know, it's too expensive to just use it every day. It's kind of pointless. It's really nice to have and really nice to use, but I don't see a sense in keeping it around the house whenever I get cooking jobs like sometimes I'll go to work <clears throat> in the winter time and I'll cook for a little while depending on if they pay me right and uh, yeah I, I just don't keep my rollout kit at the house maybe one day I'll go to the storage and I'll pick it up and just do a walkthrough of what it what it actually contains Yeah, Code 187, it'll definitely outlive any fucking new knife. That knife has been around for a long time, and it ain't going nowhere. Check it through the chat real quick. Let's see. Hey, you know what? You can't even talk shit about the ashtray, okay? The ashtray is actually really fucking cool, so you just hush up there. Yeah, boss bitch, you used to sell cut coat, right? Back in the day.
<sighs> STL, do you ever go live or you just uh you just go for panel and panel and be a panel whore and talk shit? I was just wondering. Asking for a friend. <laughs> Sugar crits. Most of my knives are bought at Goodwill. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the only the only set that I actually paid a lot of money for was my professional set, the rollout. Um, the rest of them, you don't need to go to a fucking store and spend, you know, 80 bucks, 120, 150, 220 on a brand new, you know, set. You can just buy them used. I mean, they're steel. You sharpen them up, they're good to go. Actually, I'll show you here. So, that's my sh that's my knife sharpener right here. Keep it handy. I do have a whetstone. Um, don't use it very often unless I'm sharpening one of the knives I carry. Pretty fucking expensive stone. I like whetstones. Whetstones work very well. So these are looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So like I said before, grab the biggest one, which is looking like that one. No, that one. This one's pretty nice. Chicken so good, make you want to slap your mama. Not to be confused, Billy Norwall. Don't slap your mom, you fucking bitch. You sick little bastard. By the way, I'm really happy you guys show up. Um, you know, I don't live stream very much, but enough people ask me that uh, they wanted to see me cook, so I oblige. If you guys want to put a poll in uh, one of the discords that I'm in of what I should cook next, I might think about it. I'm not going to give you 100%, but I might think about that. Give this a little bit of a shake, knock that shit loose. This one might overflow a bit, but I'm about done and don't care. Jamie lights his house on fire. Best live stream ever. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thir
it's pretty much you write your own ticket at that company. Uh, you either sell or you fucking don't. They won't keep you on if you don't sell. They're not going to just pay you the hourly rate. They'll kick you to the curb. So typically, you know, felons like myself, we tend to get jobs there because uh, we know how to sell shit. Yeah, code one eight seven. Some of those fucking uh, like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar sets of like Damascus Japanese fucking knives. That is way the fuck overpriced. Chef's knives, and then I recommended a cheap Victronics, Victor, Victorinox. I don't know how to not pronounce that. It's been fantastic. Looks like some chicken you bought and refried at Popeyes. <laughs> yeah, I can make some good shit. Yeah, secret Walmart spice bag. That's G13 classified. I ain't never going to tell you guys what's in it. Just know that it's delicious. I'll do a turkey fryer video. I'll go out to the fucking back roads out in Manhattan and blow a turkey fryer wide the fuck open. That'd be great. That might actually... That's a good idea. I might do that. Denison, don't be triggered. You little triggered fucker. It's not good to be triggered. Well, unless you're Connie, that tends to drum up his sales. <laughs> STL, you can't spell. Shut up. Although I suck at spelling too, so, you know, it ain't no thing. Some people, some people can concentrate on spelling, other people not so much. The new thing with the millennials is uh, you got to ask them if they could spell it in cursive. <laughs> that usually triggers the fuck out of them. Got to refill my ladder. She's dry. That stuff's cooking. I can look through chat again. Denison's always triggered. Connie dropping a freshly rolled joint in his cereal. What the fuck? STL, you kind of strike me as a guy that fucking used to drive around in like an old fucking Lincoln and uh, used to sell fucking camcorders and fucking shark boxes out of your fucking trunk. Try and act like you're highfalutin with us, motherfucker. We know the truth.
And yeah, <clears throat> I'm not the best. Uh, don't claim to be the best. But, uh, you know, I know a little bit about cooking. I could do just about anything. Uh, some of the more intricate stuff, I do use recipes. I do follow steps. Uh, something like that. I would need um, <clears throat> a bigger space, first of all. Like, I'm very limited. You know, it's not, it's not a big kitchen at all. I literally only have this space here to, you know, kind of prep off of. Um, I got that space down there a little bit. But right here is mainly where it's going to be prepared. So I don't have a whole lot of space. So some of the bigger stuff I stay away from. I will do some bigger stuff, but it'll be, you know, step-by-step -step process. It won't be all at once. Um, I just don't have the room for it. Uh, most big meals, like Thanksgiving, um, I don't eat at the house anyways. I typically go to a, uh, we'll just say an undisclosed undisclosed location um, to be around people that are very like-minded like myself and we'll just leave it at that help them cook meals uh, usually Christmas we do you know an all-night thing New Year's we do an all-night thing uh, Thanksgiving we only do I think up until midnight and then we shut it down um, but yeah that's what I do for the holidays once in a while me and my boyfriend will spend the holiday together but we'll go out to uh, casinos and we'll just casino hop all day. We haven't done that in a while. We went, uh, I went Christmas Eve for a little while and then I went back and did my thing with my people. And uh, New Year's Eve, I went out to Wisconsin for, I think, uh, I think about four hours, three hours. And then I had to get back to fulfill my obligations with my people. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's what we do. We enjoy gambling. Although, he doesn't gamble so much anymore. I, I gamble a lot more than he does. He, uh, he cut back. He doesn't, I don't think he really enjoys it anymore, to tell you the truth. But me, I'll always enjoy gambling. Let's check out the chat. Let's see what's up. Uh, <laughs> code 187. Appreciate it. Thanks. I appreciate that you like this. <laughs> He's more of a trench coat guy. <laughs> yeah. He's trench coat fucking mafia over there. Fucking, y'all remember that shit back in the 90s? Trench coat mafia? That shit was fucking weak. Dude, STL, the only thing that you fucking upsell, upsold was a goddamn super size me at McDonald's when they still did that shit. If anything, you, you worked at Costco and you're fucking going and doxing all the goddamn Costco employees that didn't like you. Yeah, sugar crits. I can't stand my fucking sink, bro. Seriously, it, it really... It, it fucking drives me nuts. But, you know, just makes me do the dishes every day. Ain't no raw chicken touching every part of my chicken. That was washed. Douche. Douche, you doof. So, <clears throat> funny story about that page, since you decided to grace us with your fucking semi-sober presence. So, what she's referring to is that. Um... <clears throat> There's a story about all my tattoos. There's a reason why I have the tattoos that I have. I, uh, I picked them out over the years. It started off as one idea and it branched into kind of a life story. These ones are done. No cutting these in half. I know they're done. So, the Monster Energy Drink most people see it and say, oh, he likes Monster. Well, that's not exactly true. 
used to like Monster a lot because I was a broke drug addict and couldn't afford Red Bull. Back when I used to smoke, uh, the fuck were they called? Mavericks. Maverick menthols. Or L&M's. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that monster sign is a symbol. It's not meant to be evil or anything like that. <clears throat> it's meant to remind me that I could be a monster at any time. And I could go back to that old way of existing. Because it wasn't a life, it was an existence. And then you'll notice underneath it, I have my cross. I got a couple of crosses on my body. And the reason why I have that is I could either do good or I could do evil at any time. And, you know, that's just the way it is. All of us have the capacity to do good or evil at any time. Anyone. I just try and keep that as a daily reminder whenever I can see it as a choice. Don't regret any of my tattoos. Definitely don't regret my tattoos. Love every one of them. Show you another one in a second after I get this cleaned up. By the way, this is what I use to clean up. It's good stuff. For all you fucktards out there and say, Oh, it's Jaminilla, it's Jaminilla. You stupid fucks. Shut up. Paige, you would eat one if you if your stomach wouldn't, you know, reject the oil due to all the fucking alcohol in your stomach. <laughs> Pine <Pinesol. laughs> Yeah, well, Paige, if you were only OCD about a couple other things in your life, you'd be doing all right, and I wouldn't fucking completely and utterly just despise you in most contexts. But you won't, so I won't stop. So yeah, this is uh, this is what the finished product looks like. Pretty good. So the other tattoo I'll show you guys is this one. I don't know if you guys can see it whole. It says pain, blood, sweat, and tears. And uh, we'll just say that there's a little prize if someone can actually get why I have that or what it actually is from. I'll give you a hint. One of the words is actually changed, but same basic meaning as what the original statement was. So if you know the answer, go ahead and put it in the chat. I'll look through it in a second and see if you're right. <laughs> I 
Paige wants the wings because she loves sucking out the bone marrow. Yeah. LG, there's no bone in my uh, chicken chunks. They're boneless. <clears throat> <laughs> Shake the fire machine. <laughs> the long, oh wow, boss bitch. Yeah, I swallowed him up. Uh, Denison, no, it is not the rivers. If you listen to how exactly I explained how I explained it, then you might be able to simplify your search a little bit better. Might be a little bit better refined. The words were blood, sweat, and tears. One of the words is changed. And it's not, I'm not going to give you which word because that would kind of give it away. Tattoo is actually blood, sweat, and tears, but I found that it was pretty close. <clears throat> no, nah, I don't marinate them in buttermilk. I could, but I don't. Some people do that. I, uh, never really seen a point in it um i've tried them both ways and i never really uh never really seen a difference i mean a little bit of taste difference but uh as far as anything else not really much of a difference there in my opinion turn that heat down a bit notice it's burning a little bit a little bit <laughs> yeah, LG asked me about my bag. There ain't no blank spots, Denison. You lying fuck. Don't make me get triggered on your ass, Denison. Why'd you get the Chinese letters on your forearm, boss bitch? Bitches are looking fine. Yeah, well, Denison, for me, that it doesn't make enough of a difference for me to take three or four hours to actually marinate it in milk. If I was going to marinate it, I would marinate it in like a garlic balsamic blaze because that's one of my personal favorites There it be, guys. Not bad. Hour and five minutes. Alright. So, there's the finished product. Pretty good. 
These ones are a little bit overdone, but that's okay. And then we have these. Eh? 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 Oh yeah. So, I hope you guys liked the uh, live. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night, everyone. See you in the Discord chats. Uh, Page B, sober up. And have a good night.